Today I'm going to take a look at two devices from GearTrist for your car. Uh, the parking sensor and the rear view camera. Um, they're both separate products sold separately, but they're similar enough that I'm going to do the review together. Uh, we'll do a little unboxing, check out the quality, see what all comes with it, and then I'll talk in the written review um, about the experience after I've hooked it up and tested it out. So let's uh, start off with the parking sensor. Um, kind of a bigger box here. Let's say it has a four piece device on the side of it. Seems to be different models. So right here is the manual um, that comes with it. Pretty basic, but does lay out where to put it, how to run the wiring and the sensors. So right here are the four different sensors. Um, pretty basic. Plug those right into your car. Um, and the USB, um, well, they're not USB cords, but the plug right there. So good size cable. Looks like it'll run the length of most standard cars, maybe even most SUVs. Um, the display right here. A uh, little sticky pads, you can put it right there, let you know if you're backing into anything. Uh, right here is, looks like, yeah. So the four sensors go there, power there, and then that is pro or, see here, that's the display right there, and then that must be the power plug right there. So, that's pretty nice. Um, a nice, a uh, few sturdy plastic, good quality. Uh, all the different cables right here is the power supply. Looks like it's designed to be, yep, worked into your car battery. And let's see what we got here. So here's a saw to cut the hole into your bumper. Let's see here. Yep, looks like stair bit. Plug it into any old drill you have. And then it will automatically cut the hole into your bumper. There we go. Cut the hole into the bumper so that you can go and insert these. You see that fits perfectly there. It will sit flush in your bumper and be the sensor. So nice that that's included. Not that they don't make you go buy it separate. So it looks like everything you need here to have the um, sensors work for you. I'm kind of pleased with the quality of it. It's, um, for the price, it's very, very good quality. We'll have to, you will have to have some basic car knowledge to hook this up, some basic experience will help, but it doesn't look too complicated. It looks like something I could easily connect on my own. Um, I'm great with computers, great with technology. I'm not such a huge car person. Um, fix the basic stuff, you know, um, air filters, that kind of stuff, replace the tire, but this looks like something I can do, even though I'm not the kind of guy that spends all of my time in the garage work at my car. So that's the parking sensor. Now let's take a look at the uh, rear view camera and see what we got here. So manual again, um, AV cables right there. Very long AV cables and power cable. Um, let's see here. Here is the actual camera. So yep. Looks like you mount it right above your license plate. And there's the camera. Here's the different um, connectors. Plug in there. Um, yellow is your video. Um, and right here's your power. Plug it into your battery again. So right there is the camera um, part of it. So pretty basic, nice though. Um, does the job. We'll take a look quickly at the manual, see what all comes with it. So there you go, not a lot of instructions, but doesn't really seem to need a lot. Um, 640 by 480 resolution on it. Um, so that's decent quality, good enough for if you're backing up. Um, really not a lot of issues with that. The uh, RCA kind of type connector here will work with pretty much any camera or uh, excuse me, display that you have that will fit into your car. A lot of them nowadays have those displays uh, built in. You can just plug this in if you got one, or you can buy them pretty cheap. So, good quality. Um, they're, they're pretty thorough kits. They both look very simple. Looks like you just run that right through your car. Long enough cable easily to reach into the front seat of a car or an SUV. And this one seems to be really long. Um, so, good quality. The cable feels thick. The camera feels good. Um, metal exterior. Um, so, that will definitely last a while. Well, so that's my unboxing of the GearTrist uh, 
um, car review camera and parking sensors. Um, highly recommend it, especially if you're a little nervous, you have a hard time seeing on the back of your car, work equipment blocking it. Great device here. Um, I'll test this out, hook it up on the car, give it a little run through, and I'll do a written review of it. If you have questions or comments, let me know. Make sure to check out the description of the video and of my review. Thanks for watching the video.